and so it ended in the man's death, as every person's tale does. The man known as Darkside Phil, Phil Burnell, died live on stream. The combination of rampant alcoholism, gout, terrible diet, recent $4,000 chargebacks, and a double perfect in Street Fighter 7 was too much for his weak heart. The gaming community at first didn't even know who Darkside Phil was, let alone care about his passing. But then they remembered him as the guy who masturbated on stream and who was legitimately terrible at every game he played. There was no mention in any mainstream source about DSP's passing. Only those in isolated communities cared to know this. It was a testament to the isolationism, toxic personality, and pariah status he created all by himself. Ket found her vile husband dead on the ground only after the stench of decomposition filled the house. She felt only a selfish sadness, lamenting the loss of her own pay pig and sugar daddy. DSP Gaming, along with his other channels, fell silent. No longer were inboxes flooded with notifications. Many detractor archivists painstakingly downloaded every single video of his as an ongoing effort to immortalize his failings. Panda Lee was greatly annoyed when told of Phil's death as she was living a happy, goutless life. Her anger hit a genuine hurt as she knew she was the only person who ever truly cared about him. Initially, John Rambo wanted to offer any kind of statement about his former friend's passing. But he decided the last piece of respect he could offer his prodigal friend was to carry his own thoughts in silence. DSP's friends would have mourned him, if he had any. His family, fatigued by his endless incompetence and reckless finances, were frankly relieved at his passing. His mother thought about her son, took a deep drag of her cigarette and belched, should have gotten him that damn figure. Jasper Kitty, completing his mission as a deep cover operative, retired. He spent the rest of his life happily dosed up on catnip, gorging on salmon, and breathing the fresh, clean air he had been deprived of for years. Ket sold all of the stupid shit her dead husband collected for pennies on the dollar. When that ran out, she wrote a best-selling book about her time being married to the pigroach. She was finally glad something of worth came from him. Darkside Phil's phone had been misplaced during Ket's purge of his shit. Eventually, the battery died and the servers went down. The sweaty man JPEGs that Phil loved more than anything or anyone in the world combined, vanished. DSP's lobotomites insisted that his death was a troll conspiracy. But as the pig gnosis wore off, they moved on into the wastelands of the internet for other degenerates to throw themselves at the feet of. After the detractors made their videos and hilarious parodies of Darkside Phil dying on stream, they moved on to cover other lolcows and scammers, of which there is no short supply. Some still covered him from a historical perspective, amusing people for years to come. As Phil's last words while dying were, it's Tevin's fault, Almighty Tevin was apprehended and brought in for questioning. But his alibi of playing Z-tier games while watching the Saints lose cleared him. At first he was furious, but then realized it was only fitting for Phil to be a sleazy asshole one last time from beyond the grave. Hideo Kojima was genuinely confused when told DSP had died. Someone explained it was the guy he had seen flipping out while playing his game. To which, Kojima smiled and softly whispered, This is how you don't stay alive. Low Tier God furious that his likeliness was presented in this video, set out to flag the channel. Even if he were to succeed, mirrors would be re-uploaded, making his efforts, much like himself as a person, utterly meaningless. Philip Burnell left behind a legacy of grift, shamelessness, toxicity, dishonesty, narcissism, manipulation, incompetence, delusion, and sloth. The damage he dealt was tempered only by his own laziness and obscurity. Of this, humanity can be thankful. It is unlikely anyone else will equal his unique levels of failure. So ends his story.
The internet brings countless unique characters into the lives of many. Some strive to make the world a hellish place. Others seek only to bring happiness to others. And others are destined for obscurity. The internet will continue to bring joy, grief, inspiration, aggravation, and ever more lolcows.